welcome back guys, this is part 2 of episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us. We're heading to Beauty and Beast's apartment. Let's see what they've got to say. They wanted to talk to us. Let's go and talk. Oh. What do you want? Well... You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Be a dick, man. Can I? So have you, Big B. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Hmm. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Oh, yeah. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going huh. to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one mm. little thing. Talk about living in the you past. Keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money <laughs> and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. We'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. <laughs> I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. Stop being a pussy. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... She gonna pick up the phone? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... Cheese it. A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. 
Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Fine. I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. Please, Bigby. Wait. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Shh. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Oh, for fuck's sake, just tell me what I need to know. Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Thank you. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe Bitch. if you go there, you can... Sort some things out. Yeah, sort some I things guess out. I'll go check out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The You're is, delivering the packages. It's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. We're going to the butcher shop first. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So? Where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. 
Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? Help you out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. Huh. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Huh. Fuck that. No, we're keeping smoking. <laughs> Not very appetizing. No, it looks horrible, doesn't Frozen it? Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. It's a bit... bear. Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <coughs> <coughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got Not here. much by the looks of things. Flank steak on special. New York Strip. Oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tongue here. Johan, <laughs> I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> Bullshit. <clears throat> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. You better stop fucking around, Butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. <laughs> you can tell just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I, Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. D don't go anywhere. The I'll be right back. Fuck was... I just have to go see. The fuck was that? Shit. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. Mm. 
Where the fuck is he? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. She's gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. <laughs> Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey mm -hmm. Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there. Shh. Let's go. Someone's been tied up there. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find Banker. something, I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Fuck's in this. symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Lundy's need any help coming up with that kind of thing. 
It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Huh. Looks like... math or something. Everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials, and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... He's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker, Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, if finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. It's a lucky pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. Ah, for fuck's the lucky sake. Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take them down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. <clears throat> this just gets more intriguing by the minute. Jersey, don't, don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just Except gonna... My Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm, uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <clears throat> I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no problems, right, guys, pal. we'll leave it there you for push me part one more two. Time. And I will have we'll one conclude hell of a this episode in part three in and the I next really video. Like Thanks for watching.